All right, we're back for the final one. This is all the crap I pulled off of the one I just did. Usual uh, bad bearings. This one was real bad. This one's all in pieces. All the balls fell out. These are all worn. So, pulled quite a few bearings off of the last one I did. We'll show you that when we get done showing you all this other crap. Pulled that off. And that was trashed. It was all worn out. I had to replace both of these on both sides, the hub and the carrier. They were both worn too bad. Two of the drive shafts were wore pretty bad down in here. They started notching. So both of these were uh, replaced. This was kind of bent. I mean, it can be reused, but I pulled it off and put another one on there. We know about all these uh, rod ends and these balls. They're all wore, all junk, all loose. And then here's the goodies I kept for myself. Another set of them uh, aluminum rear hubs. These are a little more beat than the other ones, but they're still good. Two of these MIP center braces. They don't have the plastic on them, so keep these for myself. I think these are like 50 bucks brand new. These are probably a good 25, 30 brand new. And then I got a double bearing center. Uh, diff holder so actually two bearings go in here and I got them kind of in there all cocked but it holds two one goes all the way in and this spacer goes between it and then the other one goes in I got to check and see if the bearings are any good but this is all aluminum so this I think these are like 33 35 bucks brand new so that stuff will be kept and put on mine that stuff will go in the garbage all right we'll be back with a little bit more all right, another quick section for this video. Here's all the crap between the two vehicles that I pulled off. A whole bunch of rod in it, rod uh, ends and the little balls, uh, a couple sets of knuckles and carriers, a shitload of bearings, and a couple diff gears, and that little pin. And here's the shit I'm gonna keep for myself. So I got these four 17 mil tires, which will fit on my one. I got this dual bearing center diff holder yep there's two bearings in there i guess that's better for something i got two sets of these rear aluminum hubs one's better than the other got a set of these uh center braces without the plastic on the end got a little de skid plate for the back i kept this body for myself i already mounted it on my thing i kept these jc j jc concept tires here for myself so can't tell me this pile of stuff with this body and that tires ain't worth at least a hundred bucks so 392 minus the 60 i got from jimmy that's 332 minus 100 bucks this shit's got to be worth at least 100 bucks even in used so that's 232 all right now let's bring out the truck and see what that looks like all right here's the completed one Basically, same as the other one, <laughs> just different body and different uh, wheels. Had these wheels were laying around, so I stuck them on there. And it made a number plate. I didn't like the way it came out. It'll probably come off and get remodified and put back on. But for now, it's staying. Reused this body. I had the extra body. I had two of these. One of them I sold to Jimmy. The other one I kept. Not much going on underneath there. Just cleaned it up. Took off the good stuff. Put the stock stuff back on. All the slops gone. Still missing a steering link here. Ran out of ball cups or whatever the hell they're called. I had the link. I just didn't have the little ball that goes in the rod link. Uh, Left these on for a little extra protection from the dirt sliding up there because the servo mounts right here. So, uh, and that left the shocks that came with it on it. I didn't put TLRs on there. These are half TLRs, half stock, but they work. RPM arms up front. RPM arms in the back, RPM arms. Uh, RPM rear bumper, 
but the bumper's cracked. I see the crack there. Crack there. But I'm not going to put any more money into it. But as you see with all the spare parts that's needed to put these together, that's why I buy the same vehicle over and over again for a while. So I pile up parts before I do any work on it. And then that way I have the parts because it's not worth it if you have to go out and buy all the parts that needed to be put on here. You had to replace all the bearings. All the bearings probably would have cost 20, 25 bucks, 30 bucks. I don't know. And then uh, the rod links would have cost like 15 bucks. And the balls would have cost another 10, 15. So it would have been like 10, 15 for the little balls. Probably 10 for the links. The rod ends, I mean. Oh. Yeah, what do I... Oh, I added up. And then the hub carriers would have been another 10, 15. So, drive shafts, those would have been 10, 15. So, that crap would have added up real quick. All right, there's a completed one of them. And there they are both sitting together, so. I like the green one with them wheels. I mean, like I said, I've been driving this thing for a while before I got sick of the bodies, but it looks good with the green wheels and that one. So, like I said, I got the 60 bucks from Jimmy for the some body and parts and other things, and then uh, I should get 350 400 for these two combined somewhere in there. After taxes and fees, they're pretty close. I already used some of the uh, aftermarket parts that I pulled off of these. All right. There's the one I stole the body out of that pile of stuff and the J Concept, not the JC. I don't know. It must have been the eggnog. Anyway, I put the rear hubs on there. They went on real nice. Nice quality fit. I'm pretty sure they're TLRs, they're the low seat ones, not the aftermarket or whatever. And I also stuck them center braces in there. Those went in pretty easy too. You can see them down in there. They just don't have the plastic. Like this. So it's just one solid piece of aluminum. I stuck both in there. I tried to stick the uh, center uh, dry shaft mount in there. Uh, center diff mount in there. But the screws that go into the stock one, it's already in there. <laughs> there must be a shitload of Loctite on there because I couldn't get it. I ended up bending the wrench. So I'm going to have to wait till later to get that out. I suppose I could just put it in on this half and leave that in there, but that wouldn't be the same. All right, so that's it. Like I said, pretty good haul for me. I still got a couple carriers there I got to put on the other vehicle. And uh, kept the tires, so. All right, that's it. Till next time, we'll see what else we can come up with. And uh, if you guys got any suggestions, let me know. I'll see if I can find a good deal on it. I'm not going to buy it if it's not going to be a good deal because I'm not going to lose money over it. But yeah, it's always nice to have spare parts. All right, out here.